Okay, so I just purchased a one terabyte SATA um, Seagate SSHD. I'm going to be putting it into a 2010 i5 MacBook Pro. Right now I'm currently cloning the hard drive that's in it and I have it attached via a USB link. Okay. Alright, once this is done I'll show I'll boot it up with the old hard drive in there and time it and then I'm going to put in the SSHD I'm going to boot it, time it, then I'm going to boot it four or five more times and then time it again and see what the difference is. Alright. Alright, the cloning process is finished but I haven't put it in yet. This is it here. Um, going to attempt to start the computer and the timer at the same time. This is the old drive, the factory one. Oh, shit. Alright, well. Took about a minute, 14, 13, whatever, because I kind of messed up the uh, starting. That was the old hard drive. Now we'll get back to you with the new one. All right, so I just switched out the uh, the drive with the original Apple one. Okay. Going to reset the timer. And then this time, try to hit them both at the same time. All right. This is the first boot on the SSHD. I don't know if it's going to be any quicker this time. I know it has to learn, but we'll see. So far, it's not very promising. It took probably about about the same time, if not just a couple of seconds longer, on the SSHD for the first one. So we are going to shut her down. She's down. I'm going to reset the timer and try it again. Okay. 
this is interesting because there's not normally a delay between the time the screen comes on and the Apple logo. Uh, see, that was a couple of seconds quicker. Let's uh, shut her down, and supposedly the third time is when it actually learns. Well, it's already learned. Ah, where'd my mouse go? Okay, it's shutting down. Okay. Let's try her again. There we go. Alright, so the problem with videotaping with your phone is you get phone calls occasionally. So the second boot was inconclusive. I didn't I had to take the phone call. So we're going to shut it down and this will be third boot. Oh wait, was that the third boot? Uh it'll be the next boot. We'll we'll see. Okay. Alright. Well, we got not much, like 20 second gain. Hopefully it gets better over time, but to be honest, I'm not impressed. All right. All right, this is after I powered it up and used it. I went and opened up Photoshop a few times and Illustrator and several other things. And uh, the first time you load anything, it is just like a normal hard drive. The second time, it is very, very quick. So let's uh, try this again. See how it does on this for this boot. No, I'm not a big fan of this delay that's going on here. That usually happens when you partition a hard drive as a MBR instead of GUID, but. Uh, I know I didn't do that, so. Similar times as the last time, about 55 seconds or so to get to this screen. I'll just show you some, uh, now you guys all know my password, ha ha ha. But, um, show you a couple of things. Uh, this is Mavericks, by the way, running on this laptop, so it's, it's a beta version, but, um, uh, like Photoshop. All 
Alright, see now this was how it loaded before. Now I'm going to close it and load it again. And uh, on, my dog's like asking for attention. Alright, come on, get down. See how quick it loaded the second time? It's like ridiculously quick. Um, and I'm completely closing Photoshop. Yeah. And the same thing applies to just about any other application too. The first time you open it, it's slow. The second time, it picks it up a little bit. Okay, so. Okay, that's Illustrator, it's open. We're gonna go ahead and just close it out. And we're gonna open it again. Yeah, that wasn't that much quicker, but it was definitely quicker. All right, well, that's all I can really show you because I haven't used it that much, but there is an improvement, but We'll see how it goes.